In this video, we're going to cover how to localize QuickBooks Online for your country. In the sign up screen, where you sign up for your free 30 day trial period of QuickBooks Online, you will be asked to provide some information about yourself and your business. The fields you must complete will include the country where your business is located. Based on your answers in the sign up interview, you will then be prompted to enter your regional settings. It is in this regional settings screen that you will enter your home currency likely the currency of the country where you are located, as well as the number and date format you would like to use. This screen can be revisited at any time in the company preferences, but the home currency cannot be changed once you start using foreign currencies. Now you must set up any taxes for your country. Observe how easy it is to create a new tax rate. Select New Tax. Then select an additional tax rate and click Next. Here you can enter the name of your tax, in this case, extra VAT. Select VAT as your tax name. Enter the rate applies to both. Enter your sales rate and select your account type as liability. Then enter your purchase rate and select again liability for account type. Then click done. You can also create a custom tax, such as environment levies and luxury goods taxes. Furthermore, you can also create a group rate, which combines multiple tax rates you've already set up into a single line item. In QuickBooks Online, you can instantly change your displayed language. Simply click on the Select Language drop-down menu and click the language of your choice. Here we will select Chinese Simplified, and you can see how quickly the site is translated. This concludes how to localize QuickBooks Online for your country. Thank you.